today we're listening to John De La Rose. For those of you who remember who he is, he is that um, science, science or sci-fi writer who wants to take down Marvel and DC and even Disney because these people are too woke and he wants to bring normalcy back to a certain degree um, or even high degree. And I understand where he's coming from because the stuff that they produce is shit. Um, whether it be the gaming industry, comic book industry, blah, blah, blah. And this is why manga is kicking, or the East is kicking our ass, um, or so. Um, but anyway, this is not about the thing. I'm just getting you guys to understand who jo John De La Rose is. Um, but it says here, uh, Melissa McConte, I think that's her name. Melissa McConte, that crazy lady. Total meltdown with threats of lawsuit against Smash JT. I don't know what this woman's problem is. Is with Smash DT per se. JR. He wants to bring balance to the force. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he wants to bring balance to the force. But um I don't know what's I don't know what's it, her, her literal issue with this man. She seems to only come after JT the most. Um Smash JT the most. I don't know what's the issue. Because he's seems pretty harmless and he seems quite like normal like he seems really normal to the point of his criticisms um very you know uh, yeah maybe it's too much raw thing because last time she called this man's wife um at her job i think and she tried to take down his website it got taken out for like 24 hours and got right back up um now she's threatening of a lawsuit don't know what that's about so we're gonna see what happens here so let's do it if you like this please give a like and follow for those who don't know these segments will be snipped out and be put as a video for people to watch to see the snippets so they don't have to actually sit through the stream but if you want to give your opinion based on what's happening in the stream and get read out you have to come over here and give your opinion now I understand that um, some people may have different ideologies or feelings or whatever case may be based on what we show here and that's fine that's okay all um opinions are open even if you're wrong <laughs> but then again we're not cowards and we're not gonna let you just like block you just because you have a a very shit take even i have shit takes but like you know it happens but i'm not gonna block you because i don't think that makes sense that's what you know, it's free speeches. But if you're an idiot and you say crazy stuff and you're not really backing with any evidence or thing, then I'm not going to block you, That, but we're not going to take you too seriously until you have some form of evidence. That fine. Debate me. <laughs> JR. LOL. <laughs> so let's go with it. Let go. Suit number two from Alyssa Mercante now. <laughs> She's going at Smash JT. Uh, the YouTuber who just calls out Kotaku over their woke nonsense. This is wild. Uh, I've never seen anything like this. And it, it seems like uh, it's a desperation play uh, based on some of the stuff I've seen lately from her. Uh, you know, wokeness doesn't pay. And we all know this. Uh, we all know the consequences of what happens there. And, uh, and she's just made her bed by attacking people relentlessly. Uh, on her Twitter uh, for just uh, standing up for gamers, standing against the mainstream media. And uh, this should get wild. My name is John Delarose, everybody. Um, and I would like you to check out my graphic novel. It's called The Hidden Emperor. And I've got it on backer kit right now. I make uh, science fiction comic books. This is a great Star Wars replacement, Warhammer 40K. Uh, if you are into science fiction and fun, grab this. Uh, we had a huge success on the Kickstarter. And it's still available for a couple more weeks while I get everything ready for print. It's in the description below. And please hit the like and subscribe button. Join us here as we talk about all things in video game culture, pop culture, science fiction fantasy and more uh thank you so much guys for uh letting us make a career out of comics it's so awesome uh really appreciate you for being there so Alyssa mercante senior editor at kotaku sent youtuber smash jt a cease and desist letter alleging he defamed and harassed her oh no uh in a youtube upload he announced that. Alyssa mercante has now sent an official cease and desist from her lawyer. I press X to doubt. About how I need to apologize for things I've said to her because they're defamatory in nature, which is interesting because everything I said has been in response to and using what she said to form my opinion. I'll explain why I feel that way about her. 
Uh, from there, he addressed Mercante's lawyer, Lane Haygood, who sent the letter. This guy struck me as everything an ambulance chaser lawyer would be. Uh, that would take literally an any case, and lawyer. anyone brought him as long as he thought, hey, Not maybe terrible. I can make a buck or two off this. So, sure, I'll throw a letter out there. What could hurt? Uh, he'll send some scares to him. We'll make him admit the guilt that he's not guilty of, and then maybe we can use that against him to push even further and try to get more. Then addressing Mercante, he said, and uh, something Alyssa clearly hasn't learned yet is her words and things she says does, can be, and will be used against her in a court of law, and she doesn't want to go down this road. From there, he shared the letter uh, that Haygood sent to him, uh, which we can uh, take a look at here. And here's the letter in full from uh, Smash JT, wonderful YouTuber too. If you don't subscribe to him, uh, he's definitely somebody who's worth it. He does quite a bit. Isn't the name Mercante a certain Hispanic name? Isn't that a South American name? Did a good work. He says, uh, "We write you today uh, as counsel for Alyssa Mercante." You have JR. made unlawfully uh, harassed. That's just like how if you go to Sweet Baby Inc. LinkedIn page, they have them talking about a right-wing harassment campaign against them, when in reality they were the ones that started harassing. Yep. ...and or defamatory statements about Alyssa, we are writing to request that you retract them and publish an apology, the language of which we will suggest to you before we pursue other legal avenues against you. Um, so he says the statements ones, uh, you tweeted horrification, what's that? Uh, like, what does Alyssa Mercante as a sucking D in her off time for money? Then you <laughs> repeated the claim, uh, tweeting, how do I put this in a way you'd grasp? The Silver Amico was comment. about as much fun as sucking well, 20 Ds in Hispanic. a row instead of being paid. Yes, yeah, Mercante. I think, yeah, something. Any Portuguese? Brazilian? Uh. For it, I paid 10K to do it. Uh, in response to one of her tweets. Maybe Peruvian? It's then published the video uh, on April 4th. Melissa Mercante has since come forward stating she used to be a sex worker. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, as much as she doth protest here, my friends, if you uh, want to see the tweet uh, where this actually happened, we have it for you. Um, and uh, here it is. How did you get into the gaming industry? Uh Oh, Oh, oh there, shit. There it is. She didn't really Not say that, did she? Not at all. It seems like this came from her Twitter exactly. Oh, and, shit. Uh, and definitely follow us over on Twitter, too. <laughs> did she really say that? interact with some of you guys over there. Oh. I appreciate you for being there. Not uh, And so there it is. You repeated thing. the statement on your website. They said, uh, Jeff, those statements are factually false. You knew they were false when you made them. She has never come forward stating she has engaged in the con. Oh, I, oops. I just showed that. There's a gulf between solo nude modeling and engaging in sexual acts for money. A gulf you were aware of when you made those statements. Okay. okay. Um, I, I, you know, I mean, when you're talking about OnlyFans and things like that, it's pretty normal to refer to them in certain ways. And, uh, and of course, when you're doing that kind of thing, that's what you're doing. You are selling uh, yourself. Uh, it, it doesn't comment. matter whether it was what she do exactly a penetrative act under the law. Or uh, I mean, these people. Hi. So. JR. She clearly Kamala is her role model. Yes, it must be. So she lied about her job just to get attention. She's face with rolling eyes. How low can she get? I don't know. If she lied, but she says she's kind of telling the truth. <laughs> Maybe she's telling somewhat the truth here. You know, laying her demons out. It says this. She said, how did you get someone asked Magnus Sanford asked him or asked um, uh, McConte. How did you get into the gaming industry? And that's her response right up there, as you can see. I can't say it on streams, that's why. I can't say it, but like, you can see it. I think you guys can see it. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, okay, yeah. Industry. Uh, uh, the tweet uh, where this actually happened, we have it for you. Um, and uh, here it is. How did you get into the gaming industry? Uh, oh. oh. We only have one there, girl there at it my is. job. Not very defamatory chill. at all. It seems like... Yeah. This came from her Twitter exactly. Like a, and uh and definitely follow us on Twitter that behalf. too. I, I'd love to interact with some like of you guys over there. I uh, appreciate you for being there. Um and so there it is. You repeated the statement on your website. They said, 
Silver comment. Jeff, those statements are factually false. Oh, so you knew they were false talents. when you made them. She yeah, has never come are. forward stating she is engaged in the con. Oh, most tech oops. I just showed that. There's a gulf between solo nude modeling and engaging in sexual acts for money. A gulf you were aware of when you made those statements. Okay. Why do people call us the I, you know, I mean, when you're talking about OnlyFans and things like that, it's pretty normal to refer to them in certain ways. And, uh, and of course, when you're doing that kind of thing, that's what you're doing. You are selling uh, yourself. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it was exactly a penetrative act under the law or whatnot. I mean, these people are insane, obviously. They're, they're all disgusting. Um, and so it says you have a financial motivation to continue to defame Alyssa. Since you made the statement, the average number of views on YouTube has gone from one or 2,000 to tens or even hundreds of thousands of views each. Oh, my gosh. Courts have found that where a defendant has profited off of this, there are punitive damages. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, and uh, so here we go. In addition to this, your continual posting about Alyssa, particularly in conjunction with your campaign to end Kotaku, constitutes knowing and willful course of conduct directed at a specific person that harasses the person JR. and serves no legitimate He's trying to so hard not to call her a <laughs> purpose. Therefore, constitutes harassment under Section 32 of the California Nightmare. Code of Penal Civil at Procedure, JR as well easy. as stalking. Under California Penal warning. Code in the past six months, you have published six, 50 videos, including one ironically titled uh, uh, Alyssa Mercante is Obsessed with Me, uh, which she is obsessed with him, by the way. Uh, she's done very weird things. You want to talk about stalking and harassment? Uh, let's uh, go back Mono. to the lore on this a little bit, my friends. Them Alyssa Mercante, actually, like because of, of Smash GT's journalism talking about you Kotaku, uh, like, actually messaged his wife yeah, on Facebook like, <laughs> and actually tried to get her to divorce him. You want to talk it's about so personal harassment? Smash GT's never done anything like that. Him posting about her public posts on Kotaku and about her fake journalism and her just failure to actually just uphold standards of any kind of, uh, you know, ethics. ethics within that journalism <laughs> is not the, remotely the same thing as going and contacting somebody's family and messing with them like that. What Alyssa Mercante has attempted to do to smash JT is, in my opinion, life ruination. Uh, and that Why is something Samurai. that, of course, shouldn't be done yeah. over the Internet. That is stalking yeah, and harassment. And that is somebody being obsessed with somebody else. Alyssa Mercante uh, has done a lot of things like this. It's not just Smash JT either. I mean, we've seen uh, her obsession with Vera Dark as well. Vera Dark uh, was messaged on July 4th. Like, in the, you know, this is a day everybody's out partying with their families, not, not Alyssa, uh, and got weird threats from Alyssa about things as well. On top of this, uh, you know, she went out to a, a video game convention and urged gamers to fight Silver her. Comet. I mean, she is... Oh, yeah. Let's call her a sorcerer. Oh, yeah. Who used her cursed technique. Yeah, she did threaten people, right? And then when, when what's her name, Dark, said she'll fight her, she backed down. I didn't understand that. Why would you initiate people to fight you and then they expect no one to fight you? Nightbot fight me, LOL. Like what's even funny? Like what's what makes that funny is that it's like she the lack of self awareness is that Americans are quicker to fight than 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 anything, right? So once you post up, I want to fight. You're going to get a response from someone, whether they know you or not, or even have beef with you. They want to get the steam out. So like you posting that you want to fight someone is go you're going to get a response. I have like. Especially on the internet. Even if you're playing around, someone's going to respond Marianne, to you. Some people try to intimidate people when in general they're just the biggest scarred cat in the room. Mm-hmm. Out there uh, trying to incite uh, a, a lot of uh, crazy JR. stuff in order to just... I call it bravery behind a keyboard. Yep. I said this just yesterday. ...build her career because Kotaku's really not paying. And I'll show Ryan you guys Gossam, that in just a second. And that sure. is uh, what's really happening here uh, over this entire uh, thing. I remember someone made a spoof app. It was called F Fight Something. I forgot what it was called. It was, called. it was a spoof app where people genuinely believe it was an app where people can set up fights virtually anywhere and e everywhere and anywhere. And because it was a spoof app, a lot of people tried to download it. And it was not even a... It was a spoof app that was actually made for you to get a job. That was the point of the app. It was it, it was the most weirdest thing ever. <laughs> it's something that happened like what five six years ago. That's how old it was. It's like someone made a spoof app, and the app was said 
for you to set up fights, but when you download the app, it literally helps you make a resume. So, um, yes, you accuse Alyssa of trying to silence her critics. Well, yeah, well, that's, isn't that what you're doing here, hero lawyer? <laughs> but routinely encouraging behavior like that would lead to her support. not having a voice in the marketplace Silver of comment. ideas. Uh, I thought everyone Jeff, we are asking, was a myth. not asking that you never Yeah, it was, a giant, it was a giant spoof. Actually, most people thought it was real because people, you know, people, everyone wants their own personal fight club, I'm I guess. I'm scared of people who say they want yeah, to fight. Alyssa. Unless they have the intent and actually want to fight is then and only then I will take them serious. Mm. Other Again, times if they say it and don't act, I know they're bluffing. Mm. We're not JR. asking that you never say mean things when about When I her. was in the gaming industry, there was an app called I'm Rich and it cost $9,999 and did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that you never... What the fuck? <laughs> react negatively to something she writes or tweets or makes a comments pejorative about her. We are asking you to confine such activities to the right side of the law. That is not meant to silence you. Yeah, this is a, a, a she. They're threatening a lawsuit against him because he wrote he wrote things that are very very true um, that are going on here. This is crazy. Now this is not the only one that she's gone out there with. Actually, uh, earlier this year, which I, I posted to my Substack. Um, and you can find on uh, Fandom Pulse, you can see the, that she actually sued the Kiwi Farms. And uh, <laughs> this was her threat a while back. Uh, she posted this letter, um, of course, uh, and said, uh, your client threat to tortiously invade Alyssa Mercante's privacy. We are writing you concerning your client, Joshua Moon, and his website, Kiwi Farms. There's currently a thread in a non-public prospering ground section of the forum hosting a full docs of our client, Alyssa Mercante, and it continues on from there. And this is uh, this is uh, the second lawsuit. She promised that there would be multiple. And like I said, I think this is a meltdown because of uh, this post right here from September 24th. She said, games media layoffs means less space for professionals, uh, veteran voices with reporting experience, and more space for middle-aged reactionary idiots desperate to make money off their social media accounts. It's a dangerous path to continue to travel down. Google constantly changing its rules for ranking, private equity demanding a number go up and is beholden to its ever-shifting metrics while cutting staff and demanding more work from less people. The monetization of rage bait and severe decline of media literacy. It ain't good. So something happened here, and I think she's just not making the money that she wanted, and so she's uh, attempting to lash out here. This is my opinion, at least on this, because Arena. otherwise it doesn't really make sense. Like going that after the Kiwi Farms like that, that is they're just going to laugh this off. To going after Smash JT like this, hurt. yes, please. I'm laughing my head off over here. Yeah, it's 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 wild. There's a lot of her. There's a lot of her. There's a lot of people like her. I bet about like seventy to eighty percent of people. He's just going to laugh it off because, like, I mean, these statements, even, even like, official. immediately, I just proved uh, that, today. you know, it's not a defamatory By statement. That, like <laughs> that she did post something implying slash cash app. Uh, some uh, some rather unscrupulous acts uh, for her little position in the gaming industry that she has now. All these people do this stuff, and they don't do it for money. They do it for their own clout, uh, and they try to then use that clout to try to make money. And of course, Alyssa Mercante is building a lot of clout. She is. She's been, uh, as much as she's complaining about Smash JT, she's still working at Kotaku. I've actually watched um, as she's grown. How this motherfucker keeps getting work? How is she still hired? That's what I don't understand. How are you still fucking hired to be causing this much trouble where people are harassing and attacking you? If this type of thing was a normal person, like a dude, and he was doing this shit at Kotaku, he would have lost his job, or they would have told him, stop the bullshit, or you're losing your job right now. I don't know why the fuck they're not saying anything to this woman. What does she know? Like, what the hell? Uh, since, How can uh, she be like this? And like, it doesn't make any sense. How are you like this? And your superiors are not saying anything to you. That's wild. JR, the Sweet Baby Inc. article. Because they don't hire based on merit anymore. I guess so. Well, that she wrote, which was a disaster and a lie. That's wild. Uh, from, uh, you know, around 10,000 followers to almost 16,000 followers. So if you want to talk about what Smash she's she's literally Korea, She's literally known for being annoying. because she's rich, and so if word or media gets out that she tried to sue and failed, her reputation gets hurt. I don't so think she's rich. So to shut her up, they probably just get her a job to keep her quiet. No, I don't think she's rich. JR. I don't think she's rich. Also, Kotaku is an activist organization. That's probably it. I don't think she's rich. I think just because she 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 spews out their talking Silver points. Comet. 
It's because of her technique it destroys all rational thinking. Huh. I don't think she's rich. Far from it. It he's like actual damages or whatever is uh, that, that because he's... usually most rich people don't have time to do shit like this. Rich people who work their ass off do not have time to be on no fucking Twitter. Or if they do have time to be on Twitter, they don't argue with, with people like this to the extent where they just don't do it. Busy people do not harass people because they're too busy being fucking busy. Unless that's their job to harass people and they make money from that, then that's that makes sense. But it seems like she's getting... I think it's the. It's all about the clout at this point. I think that's what this is. He's done. Uh, Alyssa Mercante has been using this to grow her own following, and it's been yeah. working. I mean, that's about a 60% increase or more. It's been happening uh, all because she's in the spotlight, all because she's out here lashing yeah. out against people. Yeah, that's and probably crying it. victim when people actually say something about it. But that's what these people do all the time. It's always it's always just a, a uh, them attacking, and then they claim they're victims. Yikes. All right, leave a comment down below with what you uh, think. They fucking, they fucking hired that. That's your picture? That's your profile picture? That's your professional Kotaku profile picture? My God. We are going to hell. There's no sense of uh, morals. There's no sense of integrity. There's no sense of professionalism. There's no sense of anything. This is the picture you have on your profile on Twitter as a Kotaku so-called journalist. You don't even look professional. Fuck, the bitch looks like MG, look like MG, what's his name? MKG, what's it? MGK Kelly, what the fuck is his name? Machine Gun Kelly. It's like Machine Gun Kelly in a dress. Apparently she was going out of her way to contact and dox his wife. How is she not arrested? That's actually putting people in danger. How is she not, in, the fuck? This doesn't make any sense. Wait, hold up. So, the... The law is threatening JT for somewhat harassment, what he didn't do. <clears throat> but they're not coming after her for doxing people. Hmm. Or harassing people, calling them at their Ryan job. Samurai. MGK. Yeah, MGK. It looks like MGK. Oh man, we done for. Ryaga Samurai. Kelly. Yeah, look, MGK Kelly. It looks like him in a dress. Think about this, my friends. Hit the like. And Fuck, if you see his latest picture, it looks like him. Let me see. Hold on. Ryaga Samurai. Hold on. Be my bloody Valentine tonight, LMAO. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Oh my god, what the fuck has happened to this man? Oh my god. Hold on. I know you guys can't really see it well. Hold on. Images. This man. Let's see these guys. Hold on. Kind of looks like him. Is he a dress? Oh. Dress. Yeah, that's 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 him, all right. Yeah. He's in the pink. Ryan right? Samurai. Looks zoomed in. Yeah. Let me see if I can. Oh, it's kind of cut off right there. See that right in the pink, right? And then we go back to the. <laughs> it kind of looks like him. And I didn't try to be mean, just kind of look like in the pink here, I'm saying. Jesus Christ. That's kind of. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway. That's wild. Subscribe button. Please do check out. Yeah. All right. So this was John Del Rose, guys. Like, subscribe, share, follow, comment if you enjoy what you see, you see here, and all that great stuff. See you guys in the next one. Later's.